slow. In this video, I'm going to show you another way where you can reduce the number of triangles and quads in your mesh so you can successfully convert your mesh into a T-spline for Fusion 360. In this method, you're also going to need to use Blender. So I'm on the, the, the startup screen. I'm just going to hit A, A, and then delete, and I delete these two things. And this time I'm going to File, Import, and this time I'm going to import an STL file. I'm going to use, um, let's see here, Taskmaster. Um, this file is also from Jason on Thingiverse. I, had, I have his link on the um, previous video if you're interested in his models. He has lots of models that you can use. Um, so this is the Taskmaster. And then, so what we're going to want to do is select it so you, um, and change into edit mode. So we're going to either hit Tab or go into edit mode down here. So as you can see, there are lots of uh, triangles here, and we want squares. Fusion 360 does not like triangles. So this is a very simple thing to do. All you need to do is hit Alt as in, and J as in Jeremy. So that was Alt and J as in Jeremy. And that will reduce the triangles, as you can see. Um, if, if you want, I can show you again. So, so all those triangles in here. And then if I hit Alt J, they're all gone. So then once you um, reduce the number of triangles, you could either cut this in half like I did in my previous video and then export it as an object file. You're going to want to um, export this as an object file because if you um, export it as an STL file, I noticed that this um, um, reduction of triangles does not save. So you have to save this as an object file and then you can upload that into Fusion 360.